Hello, my soccer universe. What a rotten weekend for my teams. And part of it will be in this video. I have to say, I used to have many weekends like this, but at the moment, uh, you know, we'll talk Milan tomorrow. That's not going bad. Lusk, really bad. In the Bundesliga, although I didn't dislike um, uh, all the results, uh, the pure fact that Bayern is sailing above also doesn't make me happy. And now in the NFC Championship game, as I'm recording this, the Bucks are leading my beloved Green Bay Packers. I have the game on, third quarter just started. Anyway, I'm gonna do this video now um, and we'll talk about the games. I mean, headlines first. I mean, I think we saw knockout blows for both, for title loss for, for sure Dortmund, but also for Leipzig. I think they will not be able to recover that unless there's a massive, massive, um, drop of Bayern. I, I just don't see it, honestly. Um, we saw a goal-filled round. I think uh, it's just, a, I mean, it's a six-goal thriller with Gladbach beating Dor or Dortmund. And then we had uh, the Saturday afternoon games. I mean, it was goals, 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 especially the first half. I think there were 14 uh, goals in uh, five games. Just outrageous and then you know the other games that then that one four five four three so tons of tons of goals so yeah those are the headlines from germany uh in austria yep yeah, it's rapid ra rising and salzburg claiming uh the top spot again which of course uh, we would have expected anyway shall i go into it let's go into it and see where things are going the Friday was actually a super entertaining game between Gladbach and Dortmund. And again, Dortmund having a very entertaining game um, as they had ahead against Leverkusen. I think they were actually quite well into the game. I mean, the first 15 minutes, all Gladbach. After two minutes, it should have been already a goal, but there was a clear foul before for that. Then Elvedi scores uh, the lead. But then um, Dortmund gets back, back into the game and Holland uh, says, no, we're not giving up and scores two uh, in Typically Holland fashion, I mean, both goals really worth watching. Uh, but just when you thought, and both assisted by Sancho, just when you thought the game is now really going toward Dortmund's way, Elvedi hits back. They couldn't defend, uh, I think it was a free kick well. It's 2-2 two -two at the half. Right after that, Benzabaini makes it 3-2, three, three and then when uh, Thuram makes it 4-2. Um, game was done and dusted, and Dortmund really looked beaten. They were in the game, and then in the second half, they were beaten uh, quite convincingly. Uh, let's look at the other games from um, uh, Saturday. I mean, Frank Frankfurt had no problem with Bielefeld. Out. Augsburg beats Union with two Niederlechner goals, who had not scored this season, so there's a comeback there. And then the big one uh, between Leverkusen and Wolfsburg. <laughs> I mean, Leverkusen uh, right off the get go hits the post, is creating chance after chance after, after chance, and who scores the goal? Wolfsburg. Uh, Renato Steffen assists Baku, and it's 1 0 for Wolfsburg. And then in the second half, although Leverkusen was still pressing, still going forward, and, and I mean, the commentator said there's this one team. Of all the teams that creates the most chances, it's placed forward. It's the only team that didn't score the whole thing on Saturday. <laughs> it was crazy. Wolfsburg actually hang, hangs out a bit. Leverkusen should have gotten a point out of that one. That's for sure. Um, what else did we have? We had uh, Freiburg and Stuttgart was also uh, in interesting in that uh, Stuttgart got an early goal. Then Freiburg can turn the game around, um, and then Stuttgart gets in the 45th a penalty that Gonzalez, I mean, horrible. I mean, the way he already ra 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 runs up, but then the goalkeeper is offering him the, the, the corner, and he goes exactly with the, uh, he passes it back to the goalkeeper, more or less. Stuttgart was twice hit the wall, wall to the end. Uh, it was just, they were uh, laying a siege around the Freiburg goal, but could not find uh, the equalizer. Uh, then we had, of course, the other big result. Not only is Gladbach out, but Dort, uh, Dortmund out, also Leipzig. They take a lead through Adams. Uh, Nirka Day can equalize for Mainz, uh, but Halstenberg shortly after gives him a 2 1 lead, and you think everything's going fine. Everything is really going Leipzig's way. No, absolutely not, because uh, Nirka Nier Day, just five minutes later, equalizes again, and then just after the half, Mainz get the lead. And it didn't even look that threatening from Leipzig then. 
Uh, Mainz got played this really well, and this might be a sign of life for Mainz uh, for staying up. We have to see, of course, how, how this will go. Then uh, Bremen uh, <laughs> 4 1 against Hertha on the first day. Hertha won 4 1 at Bremen, so kind of making up for that one. Um, earlier today, Bayern. Yes, it was a closer game for most of the time, but you know, they, uh, Müller and Lewandowski by 54th have, have given uh, Bayern two lead and two late goals again through Müller and Alaba uh, give Bayern the win to really separate themselves from the, from the pack. And then Hoffenheim beats Köln late on, which means now in the standings, I already alluded to it, seven points clear Bayern, 94% chance of winning the championship. I think it's over. I think this is the point. We already had it that when they were uh, turning it around uh, against Leverkusen, this was to me the first uh, sign uh, that Bayern will not now not go. And now it's clear. I don't think anyone will catch them. Just look at goals forward and and against. However, um, it's very remarkable that up until a, uh, the tenth spot, everyone has a positive goal diff the difference, which speaks that there's a broad. Um, second tier and if you look just by points I mean arguably from Freiburg to Leipzig Le Leipzig maybe a little bit from Freiburg to Leverkusen it's very very tight together uh, Dortmund now only in seventh spot um, they are still odds on to make it uh, into the Champions League but now doesn't look good on the bottom also doesn't look good for Schalke Mainz it's a little sign of life doesn't look good for Köln either I have to say as uh, um, and Bielefeld, I think this will be the fight. Um, if we look at expected stand, I uh, four for going out here just to stand things for now, but expected standings, we clearly see it's Bayern's league to lose at the moment. Then Leipzig maybe has a little bit uh, an edge, and then there's really from Leverkusen through Frankfurt, those are the teams that are arguably have a good chance to make it in, in the Champions League, starting from Union to probably. Yeah, Hertha still, although I'm not, not sure. These are the um, teams that might, the midfield that have nothing to do with relegation because it's Bielefeld, Köln, Mainz and Schalke, although I'm not so sure. Hertha looks like a veritable mess in many ways. The next round, um, there are two games that stick out for me and they are all uh, behind each other. First is Leipzig against Leverkusen. That is, of course, a top clash uh, that could be very, very interesting. And then for relegation, Köln against Bielefeld. Absolutely humongous game right there. Let's go to Austria. Do we need to? Yes, we need to. Um, I mean, the first and the last re result both bother me. <laughs> uh, Rapid, I have to give it to them. Sturm uh, played well at first, but on the first real chance, Rapid hits them with, uh, with, with, with a goal and is overall the better team, despite Jancha getting the e equalizer. But just before the half, they get the lead back through Schick. They double it up um, right after the half to make it 3-1 and from that point point on it was all rapid. And then when Bala gets sent off um, for Sturm, it was crusading and Demir adds another one. So yeah, 4-1 uh, rapid, uh, surprising in, in, in a way, but fully deserved. Um, and yeah, I see already that the championship game is also not going my way. Bah. Big win for Austria Wien over Ried. Maybe they have a little chance. We'll see about it. Uh, uh, Low Austria derby in St. Pölten and Miravaka ends with a 2-2. Uh, Wolfsburg and disappointing Anil against Hartberg. Uh, Salzburg wins at Altach and then Lask against um, uh, Wattens. Uh, WSG Tirol. What can I say? Uh, the first half was really, really bad by Lask. Really bad. I have not seen them. I mean, uh, the trainer, the coach said they are all low, low looking forward to playing. I have to say this. No. Yes, they had control, but they had so many unnecessary, um, you know, losing the ball left and right. The physicality of Tirol really played, uh, did not do any, any, any favors. Tirol, whenever they got the ball, they played straight for, or forward to kind of um, quickly get out of the press. They hit the post in the second minute, they had two really good chances and for some reason Lask gets the first goal in 2025th, which I, I know I was, yeah, we scored. And I have to say, uh, I said, this is, was not really fair, uh, this is, I'm happy, but it's not going for the round again. Yeah, well, within uh, five, five, five minutes, again, a header against the crossbar and in. Uh, gives the Tirol the equalizer and then 
too cra crazy goal. I mean, the 2 1 and 3rd, 37th um, goalkeeper, Schlager plays, Archeberko plays back, he mishandles it, Yeboah. Uh, gets gets of all places to Fredriksen and in clearly goal keeping mistake and, a and then the third goal in the fourth mistake I think was quite contentious because Yeboah was injured and was being treated outside and just when the count contact was launched the referee calls him back he's not, not he is not aside but clearly the defender does not uh, see him and he then assists Fredriksen who, who it was very very, very 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 similar to the second goal Holland with a nice shot puts one back and then you had kind of feeling yes maybe that we, we can get something going and at the beginning of the second half it was siege and many cha uh, ch uh, ch chances but also a little bit unlucky because uh, once a header was taken away by Andrade the Michael could have put in and stuff like that and then you give up a penalty it's 4-2. Probably deserved loss. Uh, the problem is I don't like where this is going now because the upcoming week is a really hard one for us, as we will see. But first of all, the standings. I mean, the loss hurts. Uh, also has to be stated they're not playing in the uh, stadium in Linz because this one is torn, torn down. They're playing in a much smaller stadium, which uh, might take some adjustment, but I don't think it plays a big factor. I think it was really the Tyrol was that much sharper uh, for, for this game. So now in the standings, uh, Salzburg going top again, Rapid moving also up, uh, Sturm, uh, Sturm and Lask dropping uh, and Austria also going ahead of Ried, but Austria, as you can see, has a very slim chance of making it into the playoffs up there. Uh, playoff spots are more or less booked, except for the last place between, between Tyrol and St. Burton, and I would at this moment, say Tyrol probably has the better chance. Uh, that the loss didn't really matter. I want to show you what, how, if it ended now, we have this weird system where we have the points uh, to play a championship, championship round. So at, 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 at the moment, uh, we have it's a four point difference, and now if you have it, it's a two point difference. So it doesn't really make a big difference. It anyway does, does make a difference because Salzburg Sals will win this championship. Uh, they are always the also favorite. Uh, to win. As for the expected standings, I mean, that's the expected uh, regular season standings. Again, Salzburg will win the regular season. Uh, it's all about who will uh, get these last two spots, and at the moment it's Wolfsburg and Tirol who would get these. And then uh, for the final final standings, we would, as I said, it's almost booked. Salzburg E are the big, fav are the big favorites, and we have to see where this will go. Uh, for the other teams, I think there will be a fight for this last Champions League uh, qualification spot. Next round, we have two rounds. A uh, midweek round uh, with Wolfsburg Lask, the big game there. I think we don't need to talk much about that. Um, I think the Nasterian Dara between Sturm and Hartberg is also interesting. Uh, and if St. Burton wants to, wants to do something, I think they could hurt Rapid a little bit, but we have to see. And then on the weekend, yeah, Rapid Lask. Uh, last repeat, uh, it's the big one right there, and then there's a big one for relegation between Ried and Admira, also. But yeah, it's uh, last uh, repeat that will go a whole other way. I mean, after this week, last better pick up at least one win, uh, just for morale. I mean, the schedule gets a little bit easier thereafter. So, yeah, that's what is from the German speaking countries that I'm having on my channel. Green Bay is about hopefully to score again, so let's see. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon, as it will remind you whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.